Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. I have a quick announcement before I move forward with your reading. Um, in case, for those of you that don't already know, I do offer personal readings now at this time. Um, I have openings for April still. If you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, email me, hiddentruthtarot at gmail.com. I am doing a Mother's Day special as well. For the month of May and it, it doesn't matter if you're a man everyone is welcome okay you just have to be 18 to be able to book a reading with me $50 off a personal reading with me during the month of May okay Mother's Day uh, that's the Mother's Day special excuse me so if you want in on that that's a good good deal you guys all right be sure that when you email me, you let me know that you want to book for the month of May and you want in on the Mother's Day uh, discount. All right. So this reading is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general. 20th through the 26th of April, 2021. Ooh, the card's flying. So you have justice. As your situation okay you have the six of Pentacles in your foundation what's benefiting you is the ten of cups and then look at this there you are Aquarius Queen of Swords showing up in your own reading I love it in your crowning position okay and your outcome energy is the tower. What's this tower spirit in the outcome position for Aquarius? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups clarifying the tower. All right. Gonna pull some animal spirits. All right, so you have the rhino spirit overcome any obstacle, and you have the armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries. Set healthy boundaries. Okay, so. We have the master number 11 right here, you guys. Look look the meaning up, okay? All right, there's a lot going on in this reading. <laughs> a lot of messages are coming through. All right, rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. All right, there is nothing that there is no obstacle that could come your way, okay? I'm telling you that you cannot overcome. There's going to be obstacles and challenges down every path because obstacles and challenges are how we learn. It's how we learn life's lessons, okay? It's all in how you choose to look at that challenge. Are you going to look at it as it being negative and let, allow it to get you down? Are you going to look at it as an opportunity to be the alchemist and transmute it into something that's going to benefit you? I do see a difficult situation that is taking place here. It's a challenge. It has to do with a custody battle for some of you. For others of you, you have been fighting a lawsuit or um, something to do with finances that's owed to you, okay, and you've been battling it out for a long time. Guess what? No matter what the situation is, agreements and compromises in your favor, Aquarius, okay? If this is you, about you getting custody, okay, you're, you're fighting with your your partner who's going to get custody you're getting custody okay if this is a divorce you're going to get 
what it was that you were asking for. Okay, you're going to get what's yours. If this is a lawsuit, it's going to be in your favor. It's good karma, okay? Lady Justice is on your side. This could even be an inheritance, family money, all right? Now you have the armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries, okay? I do feel like with this Queen of Cups here, there could be an emotional eruption, argument, disagreement sometime this week. This could be between family, a friend. It doesn't have to be women. It could be men. And this is, I feel like, somebody that's always got their hand out, okay? And always taking. And you're the one that's always giving. And it's going to be important that you get that give and take relationship in balance, okay? You've got to set boundaries because it's so important. And that's coming up here twice with the Six of Pentacles as well, okay? Now you have Lady Justice right here. The energy of Libra. Definitely a financial, legal situation, contracts. Any money that is owed or due to you is coming. Okay? It's in your favor. This is legal justice as well. If you're fighting a court case, no matter what it, what it is or what it's about, it's in your favor. You will prevail. You will win. You'll have victory. This is good karma. Okay? All the good karma that you've been putting out into the world, Aquarius, it's coming back to you, and you're going to be blessed. Then you have the Six of Pentacles in your foundation. This is what's driving you, okay? This could be you setting these boundaries between this Queen of Cups energy, whether it's female or male. I feel like, you know, you've got to... Put your foot down, and that's exactly what you're doing right here. And this is mirroring the Queen of Swords. And we all know the Queen of Swords, she tells it like, like it is. And sometimes, well, a lot of times, the truth hurts, right? So this person is hearing stuff that they don't want to hear. It's the truth, okay? Um, you're probably telling them you need to get a job. This could be kids, grown kids. Um, you know, they need to start being responsible. Um, I feel like if you're a parent, this is you. You're going to stop enabling them, okay? And it's going to cause a huge emotional argument, okay? But it's okay because you're going to overcome this obstacle, this challenge. I'm also getting here, some of you are definitely you know, in that, what's that word I'm looking for here, spirit? You need to make sure, let me put it to you this way, that your give and take relationships are balanced because serendipity, the universe has a financial gift for you, Aquarius, okay? And that's why it's important to remove anything that may have you blocked. And I feel like you intuitively feel it and you know that you've got to get this in balance because you have something amazing coming your way and this is keeping you from it Woo! I love it this is a financial gift okay a financial gift and it's gonna be unexpected and what I mean by unexpected you feel it coming but you just don't know where it's coming from then you have the ten of cups this is what's benefiting you this is you know your cup runneth over times ten this is happiness this is harmony some of you are getting married. Um, you know, some of you, this is a divorce. Your divorce is being finalized, and you're so excited. You're so happy, okay? Um, you've been waiting on this, and it's definitely time to close the door on, you know, this situation. You feel like you've been stuck or you're being held back, and now once the door finally closes on this season and cycle, you're free to move on, okay? Okay? This talks about endless opportunities and possibilities, and Spirit says right here, there's a promise of more of this happiness and joy to come. I feel like some of you are trying to start a family. Some of you may be building a home, buying your first home. Queen of Swords. There you are, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. 
whether you're female or male, this is what you know. You know the truth. You have clarity. You see right through people. You see through their intentions. And you tell them. You're very outspoken. You, have, you use clear communication because you know that that's what's needed. You know, you have a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom here. The Queen of Swords is a very wise, wise, intelligent individual. All right? I do feel like you're speaking up. You're standing in your truth here. You're telling somebody how it is, and they're not liking it. Okay? But you know what? Oh, well. Tough, huh? Think of it this way. If you're giving somebody even $5 a day, okay, add it up a month, three months, okay, and, and see what that comes to. That's a lot. There comes a time where you, you know, you have to release that relationship and allow that person to figure it out on their own okay and I know it can be hard especially when we're talking about it being your maybe your grown kids or or maybe family or but it's almost like that this person expects it like you you owe them and you don't okay so they're definitely taking advantage of the situation and you've had enough You've got the tower as your outcome energy. This is definitely something needs to end, needs to be finalized. Um, Aquarius, you've seen this coming. You felt it, I feel like. And, you know, maybe you thought you had more time to be able to deal with it or, or get it going in a different direction to, you know, try and keep yourself from going through this but you didn't take action and the universe decided okay we're done if you're not going to do something about it I'm going to have to come in here and just turn everything upside down and turn it right back up and that's definitely not what we want here and this is an outcome that you can change Aquarius okay if you need to change something in your life and you know it and you know that if you don't do it there's going to be consequences okay don't wait on the universe because the universe will shake everything in your life up okay when you can just handle it yourself and you're taking care of the problem the one thing instead of coming in and having everything shook up right I hope I'm making sense here you can stop this you can avoid this. This is an avoidable tower moment. And it could be that this tower has to do with this Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Queen of Cups energy can oftentimes be over emotional, okay? Have high emotions, um, you know, to the extreme. So this definitely can be like a huge shakeup here. This could even be a breakup. This could be a divorce this could be there's so many different things I, I'm just getting a lot of things you guys there's a lot of you that are having a situation like this definitely gonna have to leave me a comment and let me know what this means to you because I'm getting so many different things here that means there's a lot of you that are having this conflict with another and it's it's a tower situation a tower moment it's it's huge you may even walk away from this person you know, for good. Cut your ties. All right, Aquarius. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. You guys, please leave me a comment. The comments are back up. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.